Hey guys, Enog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today is going to be Tap Titans 2 Part 285, and we have a lot to go through here. I'm actually really excited to show you guys a couple things. One being the tournament, how we actually did in the tournament here, and two solar raids. So as you guys can see in the right side, we have 50 new messages. That means we've completed every single solar raid stage. This is something that I've never done before. Honestly, the closest time I think was last week, where I think I got to 43. It's either 43 or 45, so it's still quite a ways away. And this time it was honestly quite easy. I had to redo one, one stage, one level, uh, which is actually kind of crazy. And it was 49, and it was just because I used the wrong cards. Um, I should have been using Thriving Plague rather than using a few. So I could have done this honestly in one go right off the bat if I would have, you know, used Thriving Plague rather than Fuse. It's not like I just, you know. I'm super, super happy with it, honestly. So we're going to collect our two pet levels here. We got two of them. Nova and Jaws, actually two really good ones there. I'm glad we got those. But I'm really curious to see our tournament because I haven't checked it in like the last 12 hours, a little bit less, probably about last 11 hours or so. I did do like a four and a half hour live stream. If you guys want to check out any of my live streams, link down below to my Twitch channel. Um, if you guys want to come say hi and check it out. But let's go ahead and take a look at the tournament. Like I said, I don't know what I'm placed. I ended up in first place last time I checked. Go ahead and take a look wow okay so i may have over pushed honestly a little too much as you guys can see we're at eighty-two thousand five hundred and forty-five for a skill points tournament we have easily pushed easily pushed 600 stages guys we started at 82 or sorry eighty-one thousand nine hundred and twenty-five. i think it was something like that um and we have we've pushed way past that which is absolutely awesome dude i'm super super happy with this but it really was because we had so much preparation, uh, you know, leading up to this. I didn't really have to play that or I didn't have to uh, try that hard to prepare, to be honest with you, because we just had we had a lot of time to prepare. Uh, and, you know, last tournament, we didn't really get pushed that much either. So I actually I didn't push at all. I didn't push a single stage last tournament. So we had all of last tournament to prepare and, you know, a couple days in between of this tournament to prepare. So normally I joined last second. I didn't even have to this time because I was just I felt so prepared and I wanted to get as much time as I could. And luckily, you know, we joined like an hour and a half later. Um, it was just just over two or just under two hours later after it started and we only lost we lost that two hours which was not a huge deal considering we only have two other people in our tournament this i haven't got a three-man tournament in a very long time so this is absolutely awesome to see i'm really really happy with how this turned out um this guy has pushed a little bit uh but i don't know if this guy even reached his max stage this guy still hasn't even reached his max stage but this guy has pushed a little bit but honestly at this point i'm not too worried i've been doing a lot of banking so i still have uh, my book of shadows is still dropping i haven't invested any of my relics i've been literally banking uh, i think we did like maybe two or three initial pushes or whatever and the rest has just been banked and i've done quite a few prestigious today our book of shadows is down to 30 percent, so it's dropped quite a bit i'm not gonna lie but uh I, I like i said i'm feeling really really confident with today's you know uh, tournament and i kind of wish there was a little bit more competition because of how hard we actually pushed but i mean i'm not really complaining at the same time Let's go ahead and take a look at our raids here because it looks like uh, people are still attacking. Oh, okay, so it's going to be everything's going to be getting destroyed here. So unfortunately, I missed my Thriving Plague opportunity. I slept in a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do a Void here in a second. Uh, we do have Totem as well. So I could go ahead and Totem, um, totem Head, still hitting Head, still Head. Um, let's see, where else are people Toteming? I mean, we could honestly go ahead and Totem uh, going to TP Maybreak Armor. We could also go ahead and totem uh, like that left leg or something like that, too. I mean, that's probably not a bad idea to go ahead and do. So let's go ahead and totem. Uh, first of all, let me go ahead and get in the routine of actually checking to see how much damage we can possibly do. Uh, so with Mahaka, we got burst chance, which kind of sucks, plus affliction. Let's go ahead and go pop open the rates. And this is honestly such a good tool. I do this before every single rate attack just to see how much damage I'm actually going to be doing. Uh, so we got totem power. I'm going to be using um where is it purifying blast and acid drench is obviously mine uh import so what you go ahead and do let's hope this works uh sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it's a little buggy but then you go export you go here and you throw it in import data so then it changes all of your levels and things like that so it just bumped up my levels because it was a little bit low uh if we go back now we got to go ahead and set the titan so we're going to go ahead and do we're still on the same one but we're doing a mohawk now which is burst uh burst chance we're gonna go ahead and save that we're not gonna disable anything well no we're gonna disable the torso because obviously we ignore torso uh with mahaka so with the rest of them 
we're gonna go ahead and say well there was there was one without armor the rest had armor the legs were all good with armor um and that's really it so now we're gonna go and run all strategies it's gonna tell us the best one is focusing one limb and we should be getting 2.9 to 2 point or 3.3 million damage here so this is gonna be a very very hard hitting deck um so we're gonna go ahead and take a look actually there's so much you know there's so much health left on that uh head that we're gonna go ahead and totem head still uh you know i know a lot of people are still doing it but there's just so much damage uh so much health on the head that we're not going to be able to destroy it we're not even going to get close to be honest with you so we're going to go ahead and do our uh totem here and this is actually like if we can hit another 3.3 million damage hit is going to be absolutely insane the most i've ever done was a 3.19 i think it was i think we're just shy of a 3.2 million damage hit which is just crazy we've come so far in these last couple months honestly since i've joined this clan since i'm getting you know more raid xp more raid dust uh you know it's just been absolutely insane now i know what decks i should be using what decks i shouldn't be using and i know a lot there was actually a couple people that kind of struggled with this week's solar raids uh because of the cards they had leveled up so 2.86 uh if we take a look at that that's actually below an average so we're gonna go try one more time i'm gonna cut and uh just show you guys the finished product okay guys so we got 3.07 million damage honestly not a 3.3 million damage hit obviously i didn't really think we were gonna get that but you know we're still quite a bit above our average so we're gonna go ahead and submit this anyways and we're gonna go ahead and share that um so like i said i'm glad that i attacked the head there because there was just so much health still on the head rather than attacking you know one of the limb parts and you know maybe i mean that one obviously would have probably got destroyed that one would have as well the legs were probably good the legs have a lot of health uh but just better to play it safe than sorry so maybe honestly we could do a thriving plague if it's not destroyed yet but i'm probably gonna wait to fuse uh so then whenever so we'll, they open up fuse and then i'll do my fuse hit or my void hit and then once that's when they call for the rest of the attacks i'll go ahead and do my thriving plague so i should be able to do my void my thriving plague and uh my vm here within the next couple hours which is awesome but let's go ahead and take a look at the shops here if we take a look here we got bubbles i i've honestly we're spending quite a few diamonds here recently and nova as well um so the two pets that i'm actually trying to level up but you know this is all damage all gold definitely something that i'd recommend doing honestly for even all the people that are kind of starting off these are probably the only four pets i would really recommend uh you know fluffers isn't as good as you know i once thought it was really like i mean my fluffers is level 229 right now with a mana regeneration of 14. that's not great to be honest with you considering i've spent so many diamonds on this pet i, I would have at least wanted a little bit higher uh, but the the nice thing with nova and bubbles is that it works for any build doesn't matter what you're doing you have all gold and all damage that's the great thing so you know uh, my i actually have a buddy that's just kind of starting off here we're trying to get him into the game and i'm telling him to only buy fluffers and um fluffers and sorry the all gold and all damage ones because it doesn't matter he's a clan ship build now he wants to switch to shadow clone as soon as he can uh, he wants the lazy man build so you know those are the ones that we're recommending him buying right now because it's gonna work for no matter what build so if you guys are debating whether you should spend you know a lot of diamonds on pet levels or not probably stick to the all damage and all gold ones which is fluffers nova bubbles and demos so the four uh let's go ahead and take a look here at the raid car or actually I, we didn't open up the chest did we vip chest or the video chest we're gonna go ahead and open up here i uh, actually got a one void card which kind of sucked five dust i mean that's not much better either to be honest with you raid cards dust shop purifying blast we're gonna go ahead and cop that the rest of them honestly i'm gonna hold off for right now um i know purifying blast even isn't at the like a number one priority to be honest with you but those are the three that i normally buy no matter what purifying blast vm and um totem power those are the three that i kind of buy no matter what uh, i'm probably gonna stop soon here because i i do have quite a few levels that it's leveled up quite high which is good uh, but right now I really want to focus on I'll show you guys actually the uh, the dust optimizer here So our main ones here are gonna be VM swarm and even a thriving plague and I think we have thriving plague in the dust shop Oh, we don't okay. Never mind. So swarm thriving plague. Those are the ones that we kind of want to go ahead and get up That's gonna increase our void damage because we have not not just our void damage But we have a thriving plague or we have the swarm with the void and fuse and we have our thriving plague with maelstrom and rancy gas Which is just such a good deck such a I, I do these decks are just getting so good i'm absolutely in love with them but before i go into today's video let's go ahead and take a look at our solo raids here we're gonna go and collect all of these rewards the last one being one point one thousand two hundred and fifty dust 
and a uh, avatar there which is just crazy so i'm so glad i could actually clear portal 50. uh so we're just gonna i'm not even gonna really look, call it out a lot of like one cards there and stuff like that we're getting some pets which is awesome pets are always welcome uh, a couple of common pieces as well we've got yeah the pets is this is a great way out of this i mean dust is good as well we're not getting a ton of cards from these we're getting like one card at a time uh but you know a card's a card so the dust is gonna be awesome the pets are gonna be awesome the crafting shards are awesome as well um so actually we can go ahead and this is the mid tournament update good thing i remembered we can actually go and craft another fallen angel piece which is awesome so we're gonna go and do that here in a second let's just speed run this I, I really don't care at this point we'll see if we can do any upgrades or anything like that um but let's go and take a look at the equipment pieces i think they were all commons we got one clanship one but we're gonna go ahead and sell all of those and then let's go ahead and take a look here at the raid cards I don't think there's really anything that I want to go and upgrade just yet or that's available. I'm really close on a totem upgrade, which is awesome. Uh, I'll probably end up doing that one. But for the rest of it, I'll go ahead and leave it alone. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the equipment pieces. Crafting 212 crafting shards. We're going to go ahead and craft the second last piece for Fallen Angel. And we got the sword, which is Heavenly Strike damage. So absolutely useless to me. I'll probably end up selling it here for diamonds. Uh, we're at 194. Oh, we actually don't even have a Heavenly Strike one, so we can go and lock that in. Uh, the rest, we have Heavenly Strike now, Shadow Clone, Pet, and Clan Ship. Honestly, I'll probably end up selling it here pretty soon. Really don't plan on switching to Heavenly Strike build. My passives are just not good enough. Uh, but yeah, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to go ahead and smash like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content. And uh, I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.